One day, Carlene was very sick. She was having a hard time breathing. Her mother was very worried, so they consulted a doctor. Hello, Doc. This is my child, Carlene. Carlene, say hello to your doctor. Hello, doctor. My name is Carlene, and I am eight years old. Carlene, how are you? It seems like every day I see you, you get cuter. Did you know that in order to stay cute, you should be healthy? I'm concerned that you're gaining a little more weight. Yes, Doc, that's the problem. I've noticed that Carlene is overweight and her clothes don't fit her anymore. I'm just wondering what are the um, causes or reason why she gains so much weight this time. So the possible causes why Carlene is overweight, ma'am, may be because of genetic factors, lack of physical activity, unhealthy eating patterns, or a combination of these factors. Childhood obesity can affect the body in a variety of ways. Overweight kids are more likely to have high blood pressure and cholesterol, both of which are risk factors for heart disease. They are also prone to cardiovascular diseases. That is why your Carlene mom had a hard time breathing. Um, impaired glucose tolerance, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes are all risks. What do you usually eat, Carlene? And I love to eat lots of lollipops, chocolate, ice cream, soft drinks, and chips. That's normal since Carlene is a growing girl. But we should also remember to stay healthy, Uncle Carlene. But I hate fruits and vegetables. Carlene, you are what you eat, so you should take nutrients for your body to be healthy. Okay? What nutrients specifically does your body need? Vitamins, minerals, protein, fats, water, and carbohydrates are essential in our body. Vitamins like vitamin A, D, B12, and B9 for boosting our immune system, helping the body metabolize proteins and carbs, strengthening teeth and bones, supporting healthy blood, and aiding brain and nervous system functioning. Minerals such as calcium, potassium, magnesium, iodine, copper, and sodium to balance water levels, and improve bone health and to help carry oxygen. Protein forming antibodies, hormones, and other essential substances, ensuring the growth and development of muscles, bones, hair, and skin. Foods like eggs, fish, chickens, and dairy products. People often associate high fat foods with bad health. However, a person needs certain fats to help maintain optimal health. Nuts, fish, like salmon and tuna, avocado, and vegetable oil are foods that help healthy fats that, uh, that help for immune function balance blood sugar, mineral and vitamin absorption, reducing the risk of certain diseases and hormone production. Carbohydrates are sugars or starches that provide energy for all the cells and tissues in the body. Vegetables, oatmeal, fruits, bread, brown rice, and whole grains are examples of complex carbohydrates It is to support the immune system, the nervous system, and provide energy to perform, to perform tasks and digestive functions. And of course, we should not forget the water. It flushes out the toxins. It helps them transport nutrients and to keep us hydrated. These nutrients will help you gain a healthy and strong body. Thank you so much, Doc. But um, can you recommend me some food that she shouldn't take that contains those nutrients? Doc, I don't want to. I don't want to. I enjoy eating a lot. Carlene. You should follow the recommended intake of foods so that we can have a healthy body. The recommended dietary allowance shows the estimated amount of a nutrient per day considered necessary for the maintenance of good health. We should also follow the healthy food pyramid to achieve a healthy and balanced diet. The healthy food pyramid shows that we only need 5% of fat oil, sugar, and sweets, 20% of meat, fish, milk, and eggs, 35% of fruits and vegetables, while the other 40% of pasta, bread, and cereals. 
For the water intake, it is commonly recommended that you, since you're still young, um, you need to drink 8 ounce or equivalent of 237 ml glasses of water per day. You heard him right, Carlene. From now on, let's follow the doctor's prescription for you to be healthy and strong as well. Understand? Good. After the consultation with the nutritionist, Carlene and her mother started to practice a healthy eating habit. Before, she was very unhealthy, but now, she has finally learned her lessons and now eats a lot of fruits and vegetables.